Ciao, sono Anna e questo è My Italian Circle. In this video, I will take you inside the arena. In a previous video, which I encourage you to check out if you haven't already, we learned that Verona has an arena. Let's find out more about it. Anfiteatro Romano, chiamato volgarmente l'Arena. Roman Amphitheater, commonly called the Arena. There are many arenas around the world, but for people here in Verona, this is the Arena, with a capital A, and it's a symbol of the city. Guess the name of our local newspaper. Arena is a Latin word that means sand. It is still used in Spanish and sometimes also in Italian with this meaning. In Roman amphitheatres the ground was covered with sand to absorb the blood of gladiators and wild animals. There is no sand or blood inside the arena today, just a stage for opera shows, pop and rock concerts and special sports events. It can hold up to 15,000 people. The arena is actually a small coliseum, but don't say that in Verona. In this drawing we can see the remains of the outer circle, destroyed by an earthquake in 1117. This is the oldest known representation of the city, with the arena in the lower left corner, still intact. Around the drawing there is a famous wedding. Magna Verona, vale, valeas per secula semper. Farewell, great Verona, may you live forever through the centuries, and may people celebrate your name all over the world. In spite of her old age, the arena is very much alive today. The opera festival takes place in the summer and has been going on for over a century. The first opera productions took place to celebrate 100 years from the birth of composer Giuseppe Verdi. This is a picture of the audience entering the arena in 1913. Aida was chosen as the first opera to be performed in the arena, with no three-dimensional props instead of the painted backdrops that were used at the time. Historical performances of the Aida are reenacted from time to time to celebrate that groundbreaking premiere. If you walk around Piazza Bra in the summer, you might see opera props parked outside the arena. This colossal knight is a prop from Il Trovatore, an outlandish story of witchcraft, murder and vengeance that Giuseppe Verdi put into music in 1853. Giuseppe Verdi was one of the greatest opera composers in history. He wrote 26 operas, many of which are still performed today. Nabucco, Rigoletto, La Traviata, Otello and Falstaff are some of his most famous works. These writings, which appeared around 1850 and look like a tribute to Verdi the composer, could also be read as a coded message that meant Viva Vittorio Emanuele Re d'Italia. This time was called Risorgimento or Resurgence, the political and social movement that would bring to the unification of Italy. We will talk more about this time of turmoil in another video. 
In the 19th century, opera was not, as it is sometimes considered today, a posh event for connoisseurs. It was entertainment for the people, the popular music industry of the time. Famous arias are still well known today, and some works are highly entertaining. Think of comic operas, opera buffa, such as The Marriage of Figaro by Mozart or Rossini's Il Barbiere di Siviglia. Old and new music live side by side in Verona. You can listen to La Donna Immobile on one night and then come back on another day for a rock concert in a 2,000-year-old venue. Have you ever been to the opera or a concert in the arena? How was it? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get notified anytime we publish new content.